We are ready to start our self-portraits. You should have your Tune Paint print out, a sharp pencil, a number two pencil. You can try it with a mechanical pencil, but it's going to take you a lot longer. Your tape, which is in your table cubby, a, can a board, a drawing board, and it has the tape on the corners, at least three corners. Some have four corners. Um, I think three corners actually works fine for me. And this is what you're going to do. You are going to turn over your drawing. You're going to cover the back with a nice thick layer of lead. You might want to put a piece of paper towel down so that you're not getting all over your fingers. And cover the whole thing. If you do it like this, that won't work. You have to have the lead for it to transfer. You're creating your own transfer paper. Once you have the back covered, then you're going to put the canvas with the white part touching the lead part. You're going to tape those pieces together just on one side. And you are not going to take that tape off until you are ready to turn it in. If you make a mistake, you can always flip this back over and put the tape back on. Actually, you don't have to put the tape back on. The tape's on there. Put the drawing back on so that you can then fix any mistakes that you made. So you want to be mindful that you don't cover up a lot of detail on the front. But I can still see through that tape, so that's not so bad. Then I'm going to make sure that those are touching. So I'll put it up on the side here so that the edges are all touching. And I'm going to tape it on like a book. So then it has to flip over to the back. I'm going to put that tape here. Then I have to put another piece of tape on the inside because this can still move. If this moves at all, you won't be able to use that to save your hide if you messed up somewhere. So you take your tape and you don't really need to see. Is that going to go over that? Yep. You're going to go back over that again. Go back over that piece of tape with your pencil to make sure the lead is transferring. Why are you puckering? Don't pucker paper. I don't want you to pucker paper. Now this part needs to be completed by the end of class today. If you don't finish this part, then don't take the canvas home. I want you to make sure that you've got the lead on the back. So if that doesn't, you don't get that part done today, then you need to take just the paper home, not the canvas part, not this part, just this part. And then after you get it taped on, you want to put more lead over the whole space here. And when you start to transfer it, if it's not working well, then either you miss some spots or you didn't press hard enough with your lead. So I would go all the length of this. I really need to show you that right now, y'all. I don't think I really do, but I promise somebody's going to be like, well, you didn't do it in the video. I know, man, I know. So I'm going to cover all that tape. And this will work for anything. If you just want to transfer something for a social studies project, whatever. OK, then you're going to flip it back over. And you are going to outline every value, every value that creates a shape. You're going to copy this so exactly it's insane. You do not, do not need to do the background. That can get a little bit tricky when the background is kind of blending in. So you're going to cover each one of those. You're going to go over. Make sure you're being really careful. Take your time. You are not talking while you're doing this. You're going to mess up if you're talking. Transfer it as closely to perfect as you can. And it will transfer onto here. So after you get the whole thing transferred, then we'll go on to the next step. But that's what you're going to do now. Get the lead on the back of the paper tape it on, and then draw around each of these shapes. Make sure that you're creating a shape, not just a line. Right here, this is a skinny shape. So she's going to want to go on both sides of that. Lightly. Not lightly. I'm going to press fairly hard. So this is a separate shape than this. You want to try to distinguish between the black, the dark gray, and the light gray, and the white. So each individual shape is created with a different value. 
get as insanely detailed as you can. Then this board, you're going to tuck it in underneath these to keep this safe. You are welcome to take the board home. You're going to turn the board in with your project. So get the drawing done and we'll be ready for the next step. Ta-da!